Great. Welcome, everyone. My name is Anthony Monta. I'm the Associate Director of the Nanovic Institute for European Studies here at Notre Dame. Thank you. Welcome to uh, the concluding film of our European film series this semester. Uh, I should also remind you, I've been instructed to remind you, sort of twisted my arm to remind you, that there is a Notre Dame Day coming up and that if you could vote for the Nanovic Institute as a good thing at the university, that would be great for students. So for a variety of reasons, it's complicated, but I made a promise to say that. Notre Dame Day is important, so there it is. Um, thanks as always to Ted Barron, uh, who is here at the cinema who helps us so much and so uh, so enthusiastically, and also everybody who was involved in the visit of tonight's uh, distinguished guest. Uh, she has been here for the better part of a week, so um, she's engaged with students graciously and very generously for the, the, this entire time, so we are very, very happy about that. So our guest tonight, Margarete von Trotta, was born in 1942 uh, in Berlin. She grew up in Dusseldorf. She began her acting career in Paris, this is the 60s. She co-directed her first film in uh, 1975 and her first solo feature in 1978. She became very quickly thereafter a kind of leading force in the new German cinema. Um, she won a Golden Lion Venice Film Festival in 1981. That's for best film. Uh, and only four of those awards, four of the 54 awards of the Golden Lions have gone to women. So she's in very distinguished company there. She's made a total of 16 films, is that right, for cinema? Uh, and has worked with the top actresses in Europe, uh, including Barbara Sukova, who you know was a guest of ours at the Institute in 2013. Um, and she served now on very prestigious film juries. So this is um, an enormously uh, accomplished and, and, and wonderful director of, of film in Europe. We can grasp all of these facts right but will we understand her i'm very fortunate to say that she's been with us here at the institute for the better part of a week and we've noticed over the course of her visit there may be maybe three words uh, that have been coming up in conversation over and over first of these emotion she has a very deep feeling for feeling itself this came out in her first conversation with uh, at a dinner with some faculty passion, uh, and for passions that are very directed, very clear, and, and passions which persevere. And there are little details that sort of reveal these kinds of emotions and these passions, these sort of things that really burn inside, things that really continue. Those are things that she pays a lot of attention to. Second word, understanding, German, verstehen, but not in the sense of category. I think at one point she, she, she spoke a little bit critically of Kant, not, not in Kantian categories, not, not that kind of understanding, but in the sense of intuition, of uh, an intuitive grasp of things and people, which is very personal, and which is also not a sort of throwing of uh, a, a subordination of herself, but is a kind of meeting, right? That there's an intuitive understanding, but it's also the intuitive understanding of two things. Not just of one thing, but of the two things. And that brings us to the third word, which is love. We learned a lot about her very deep research into character in films. Uh, she plunges into archives. She reads letters of Rosa Luxemburg, of uh, Hildegard von Bingen, of all of these wonderful personages, right? And Hannah Arendt. And she's searching, I think, for something to love she says about these characters. It's very important, however remote they are in time, however distant in terms of their personalities, however controversial they are, it's very important to find something to, to cling to, to, to love, to, to grasp uh, intuitively and, to, and to, make part of, uh, to, to make a really personal relation. So this kind of dedication to truth and this passion for keep, for keep putting herself in relation to that is what makes labels about our guest seem very thin and uninteresting by comparison. So what we'd have what we have here tonight with us in, in Ms. Von Trode is something I'd call in maybe in an unguarded moment, the heart of the humanities. 
And so when you have somebody as interesting as that, it's important to just get out of the way. <laughs> so I will, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Ms. Margareta von Trotta. Thank you. Thank you first for coming. Thank you, Anthony. You made me understand my films now. <laughs> and uh, I won't say big things now because you see the film first and then we, we do Q&A. Just to give you a warning, because here I think you saw more or less my film dealing with history. Uh, Rosa Luxemburg, uh, Hildegard von Bingen, and, and, and Hannah Arendt. And this is a very personal film. It has nothing to do with, with the German past or with, with only with personal past, with personal secrets. And uh, it has a lot to do with my own life. And, uh, but that I explain you afterwards. Where I say. For me it was also interesting or it was important because uh, I have the two main actresses, Barbara Sokova and Katja Riemann. With Barbara, before this film, I did already six films. With Katja Riemann, I did Rosenstraße and another film. So that is our third film together. And they are wonderful actresses, but they are also singers. Beside being an actress, so um, and uh, Barbara, for instance, I don't know when she was here. Perhaps she spoke about it that she is doing mainly very modern, uh, modern, modern music. For instance, Schönberg, Pierre Lunaire. She went around in the world with this, and uh, and and Katja is more of the jazz side and of the uh, blues side and so on. So I. I I did want to give these two actresses also an opportunity to, f to, to show their work because normally it's very uh, divided. Now here it's cinema and here is, and there's music. And so uh, in this film they can show uh, both. And uh, yeah, and then it's the first time that these wonderful two actresses are playing together. And they always said to me, please uh, write a script where we can be together. And so that's it. And, 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 and on the other hand, it's, yeah, it has a lot to do with my personal familiar secrets. And about them, I speak afterwards. Okay, thank you. Thank you.